Alright. <coughs> so what is up guys? This is me back here. Alright. So today's video will be um be more slightly focused on um I will say explanation, but at the same time it's also a bit like um personal opinions is it yeah i actually i actually don't know so like yeah let's get into this video and i'll like slightly talk to you about um, what we're going to say about this video so in today's video to be specific we are going to talk about upcoming character banners before it is released okay so as you all know like um the upcoming banners are um firefly and rame okay and the second half would be jade and argenti Okay, so a lot, um, quite, quite an amount of my friends, like quite an amount, they keep asking me like, should I, should they go for Firefly or Rame? Because most of them don't have Rame. Because when Rame, Rame was first released, like a lot of people didn't pull for, the, pull for her. Yeah, so now they are, they are facing a choice. It's like whether they should um, like get Rame or they should get Firefly. So um this is like a really tough question. Okay, but after like um considering a lot of facts and also like doing a ton of researches, okay. So I will give you a few conditions and you can follow them to pull according to your requirements, okay? First, of course, the best condition, if you can go for both, go for both. Okay, if you if you have a good DPS, two at least two good DPSs, okay, like for example here, um I have Dunheng, the individual Luna Lunae, Sili, Budhu, Ratio. Yeah, so um technically anyone like this, okay, like Black Swan, Acheron. Yeah, so if you have any of the few DPS I mentioned above, okay, you can go for run mate. Okay, if you don't have those like good dps's um yeah and then maybe you should consider firefly but of course you can just like save up or you can just instantly pull boot heal or save up and pull for argenti or jade that's a more solid choice okay <clears throat> but however if you really want to consider getting any five stars in this character i will like specifically ask you to pull for rame first Okay, so why would I ask you to pull Rame? If you if you are a Firefly player, you you must have Rame and you must have Harmony Trailblazer. That's completely fixed. Because without them, your Firefly gap is going to be like a huge gap that is so big that you'll start to question yourself why this character's damage is so low. I'm not kidding. I, I'm legit. <clears throat> why why would I say so is actually like um like because Rame um the amount of value on this character that gives to any super break team is very hilarious. So I will just make into short words about what she does, okay? First, um she increases break effect by 20% for all allies. This is one of her talents. Okay, next, um for every break effect for every 10% of break effect that exceeds her 120%, increases the damage buff of her skill by 6% up to 36%, which is capped at 180% break effect in total. Okay, um, next is her skill, to be simple. Okay, her skill, um, like she just casts a few, and within that few for 3 turns, all allies' damage um, will be increased by 32% at level 10, and increases their weakness break efficiency by 50%. Okay, so as mentioned um, here, like you can increase by another 36%, so it's up to like 68%. Alright, next is her support talent. Okay, so this talent is pretty straightforward and brutal. Increases speed by 10% for all the team, excluding herself. And when an ally breaks an enemy target weakness, um, Rame deals to this target uh, break damage equal to 120% of her break damage. Alright, so like extra break damage and also like increase overall speed. So for example, if a character speed is like 100, she will just add another 10 there. It's solid. Yeah, it won't change. Next is her ultimate, which is the strongest buff overall for like still in this game. Like it's quite the unique 
unique mechanic and unique buff. Okay. So it says um, Rami deploys a field that lasts for two turns. Okay, two turns, only two turns. But um, the field decreases, like the field's duration decreases by one at the, at the start of a turn. While inside the field, all allies, like all type rest pen increases by 25%. And their attacks apply, um, you just, just take this as a mark to the enemies on hit, okay? When these enemies attempt to recover from weakness break and there is a mark on them, the mark will be triggered, extending the duration of their weakness break, delaying their action by an e amount equal to 20% of Rami's break effect. Yay. Plus 10% and daily break damage equals to 50% of her ice break damage. Yeah, so this amount is a only one time thing and it cannot be like reapplied to them like when this mark is triggered. Okay, so let's just um make a solid um solid assumption if you have 200% break damage on her. Okay. So you are technically like delaying them by 40%. That's how broken this is. And all and and it also buffs like the all type rest pen throughout this duration okay so that's why i say the value on this character is actually like pretty hilarious okay so the three main point of sales on her is her skill adds a ton of damage dealt okay because it doesn't increases like attack based on the character's attack percent or based on her attack percent like robin or tingyun like it doesn't okay this skill is scale on the skill itself just like how Goro and Genshin Impact is, like they give you fixed scaling on the skill itself. So I really love this kind of skill set as it's fixed to a talent itself. You don't really have to like specific go for any sub stats or stats for this. So the only st stat you need to like focus on this character is probably like speed, defense, HP, and break effect. That's all. Like you don't have to purposely scale attack or whatsoever, like crit, crit damage, no need. Because she is a support, and at the same time, she also gives buffs. And the buff is scaled on the skill level itself. Like, so first is increases damage dealt. So as I said, up to 68%, which is actually quite an insane amount. And remember all this skill um, is like, it only decreases at the start of a turn. So which means that if her speed is actually slow enough, like then the skill will be decreased like slower if you keep killing enemies and don't reset like, and reset the turn without like letting her taking action okay another thing i forgot to mention which is her technique so what her technique does is actually after casting uh, the technique when entering battle she will automatically cast a skill one time without consuming any skill points okay and for this whole thing it's actually simulated universe related so i just don't want to talk about it yeah okay so there's pretty much the whole point of sales for her and yeah her build is actually like pretty straightforward so i'll just i'll just like suddenly show you all like the build i have okay so i'm using ddd and my traces are technically all maxed out and i'm using the watchmaker for piece and also talia two piece yeah so as you can see my break effect is like just enough 180 percent yeah and 40 percent crit rate a bit like this yeah but this is a really squishy Rami, so if I if I if I get like if I get like constantly locked two times in MOC floor twelve, um she might be instantly dead. Uh, yeah. So this is a bad example, please don't follow this. Okay. So why would I say like if you are a Firefly player, you must have Rami. Okay. So as I said just now during her ulti, besides increasing the all type rest band, Another thing is she'll apply the mark, this specific mark on the enemies. So we all know that Firefly um, and Boot Hill, these two special characters, they scale on break damage and even super break. Okay, so the condition for them to deal huge ton of damage throughout their like whole turn or their whole like damage output duration is to like let enemies keep in their break status as long as possible. Same as how Black Swan works, okay? So, this is insanely crazy as you get, like, delay action and you also, like, um, how do I say? Like, give them more, like, give your characters more chance to take action damage. So, 
ima- imagine like your firefly, like it you you break you can do like two times damage during enemy break, and they'll recover. Like like some people are probably just like they don't care they just they just find another way to break it. But with Rame, it's actually different. Okay, so when the enemy want to take turn, they will get action delay. Okay, so after action delay. Your firefly have another chance to delay as this thing like the delay duration is scaled on Rami's own break effect. That's why her light cone is like her signature light cone acts like what sixty percent of break effect. Yeah, that's probably the reason why. So more break effect of Rami technically, um, delays their action more. Okay, so fi- I know five hundred percent is not possible. Yeah, so <laughs> no way you are going to fucking delay the action by hundred percent, right? So yeah, having this increases the upper limit and also the lower limit of your whole team as long as you slot her inside a team. And not to mention increasing ten like ten percent speed, although it may look a bit, but at specific situations, this ten percent is going to help so much that at certain point it affects your whole like how many turns you are going to have in that round. Okay, another thing I didn't mention is the skill. Okay, so I only mentioned specifically just now the skill increases the damage dealt. Okay, another thing I didn't mention is the weakness break efficiency increases by 50%. So how insane is this? Okay, so we all know super break damage deals like an extra damage when... um, How do I say? When you hit enemies with like... When the Trail Blazers ultimate is activated. And then when you hit them, you do amount of super break damage based on two factors. One is your own character's break effect. Okay, another one is the toughness reduction damage. Yeah. So what is the toughness reduction damage? So it's like how much or how fast you can break their shield at once. So let's take an example. So we all know that... um. Like, for example, Rame's basic attack only, like, deals, like, one toughness reduction damage. Okay, and, like, same goes to, like, Adventury, his basic attack only hits one, okay? So, for true basic skill, you can assume it hits two. Okay, so, with Rami there, increases by 50%, means this hits 1.5, and the skill um, from true blazer hits, like, three. That's actually how broken it is, because... I tried with um Boot Hill, okay, because Boot Hill himself can stack up to like three times of the effect to like break the toughness reduction damage. Okay, so I put like him with Rami together and I would just say that the effect is actually insane because I legit break um yeah, I legit break MOC twelve Argentine like Two two turns, no no not two turns like two boot heal attacks with like his enhanced special, yeah. So that's actually how broken the value is for weakness break efficiency. So without a doubt, having more weakness break efficiency also increases your super break damage, on a certain level, yeah. And also not to mention like um, the true blazer had how many true blazer also like. Delays the enemy action when the ally break enemy weaknesses. So if you are playing a super break character or break team, having like um Rame and Harmony Trailblazer is technically a fixed thing already. Yeah, it won't it won't go too far. It's always these two. Because the value of them giving like giving out in a super break team and a break team is too insane. I, I know you probably have seen people like doing runs without Rame or without Harmony Trailblazer. But if you put these two together, you will just see somehow the damage is just ridiculous. Yeah, you, you will just simply see like um one one tick from Boot Hill like from the like fanning the hammer, like from the last basic enhanced basic attack. Uh is it this one? Or yeah, this one. Total twenty percent and up this thing. Yeah, so this hundred seventy percent of his physical break damage. So this thing, when calculated everything with the super break and also the buff from the skill, the ulti. So you'll probably see all the videos like 
when they do one fanning the hammer and the damage just instantly shoots up from like 70k 60k immediately with super break shots up to like 400k this is how all the like calculation works okay for because boot is single target so their his scaling is insanely high okay but for firefly it's different okay so maybe maybe some players might have realized like for, even though firefly's highest number is not as high as boot Hughes, but overall she can take more actions okay her kit allows more her to take more actions and also at the same time to do aoe damage up to three targets so they both have their own advantages but today our point is not going to put onto them okay our point is to put onto Rame. so why should you actually get Rame? so besides putting her on a super break team you can also put her on literally any team that's how op her part is because she can literally f you can literally slot her onto any team because her buffs are just too good it doesn't like really mind like if you want to put her in a break team or a not break team you can put her in a black swan team it works too okay or you can put in the Acheron team it also works right or you can even put her in like Danheng in Baby Lunai's team it also works too that's how like um what's the word for this like um all rounded yeah that's how all rounded she is okay like compared to other supports like when you need to like care about should I care about the speed should I care about the like attack percent should I care about the like Adelons and stuff no actually like if you can see here like mine is e0 s0 I'm still using it like quite fine even 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 s1 ddd yeah so <laughs> that's actually how broken she is okay but in the end this video is just my personal opinions all right my personal opinions only if you guys already have your own decisions, you can go for it. Okay, this video is for people who have no clue, no idea about who to pull and what decision they should make. Okay, because as we all know in this game, okay, a good support is really hard to get. But a good DPS is literally everywhere. Yeah, so for an example, um, you see, this is my account. Um, so... For DPS, I have DHIL, okay, I have CD, I have Yanqing, Ratio, Boot Hue, okay, um, Eurydice, maybe Himeko, okay, and Harmony support, so I don't really have. So, Nihility, I have Acheron, Black Swan, okay, and Preservation, um, Preservation is just support type, yeah, and also Abundance is also support type, yeah, so... I have like around 8 DPSs and I can just literally form up like 3 or 4 teams if I really want to. But for people who skip support rules, okay, so support rules are like Harmony, okay, so some people may have Trailblazer, they may have Bronya, okay, but I can bet, um, so if you don't, if you are like me, <laughs> you, you didn't pull Sparkle, okay, or you lost 50-50, and you didn't pull Robin, or if you lost another 50-50 there, Okay, then your only <laughs> your only solution now is you put a Rame. If not, you're going to enter agony again. I swear, you're going to enter agony again. Bronya is good, yes. But I bet both of your teams need supports too, right? How many characters too, right? I believe a Ting Yun may, may keep dying, right? <laughs> right? Ting Yun might keep dying, right? <laughs> yeah, so having these two, you can slot them in the team. Or you can just put Bronya in another team or you can just like take Rame off and like another team go YOLO alright so yeah and for same goes to like abundance and preservation also because as you can see we have only four preservation slots in the game okay and I I am not lucky enough to have Jepard but I have two Jepard light cones right that's why I put adventure in right okay yeah so that's technically how it is uh. a good support is really hard to get but a good dps can be anywhere okay <laughs> that's what i want to like tell people okay like choose for what your account actually needs first okay then only you start like pulling the characters you actually like that's that's for me like my concept okay 
the, for me that's 30 in every game i need to settle all my so-called meta um characters or meta power in my account first yeah then only i start pulling for characters i like so yeah that's technically it it is about this video yeah um some guides opinions or whatsoever i don't know what is it called yeah so if um the next version update landed i will like go through uh, slightly about firefly about how she works and what she does okay that time i might try to borrow my friend's account and i would just like might be that's firefly there yeah all right so that's pretty much all about the video and thank you guys for watching all the way here i will see you in the next video and peace